Now, as far as empower, like the name says right there, empower, you're going to be <laughs> rest. You're going to be wrestling uh, coming up. We'll talk about empower, but you are going to be wrestling for the 73rd anniversary oh, yeah. show too. I did. I just announced that on Instagram Live yesterday or the yes. other day. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think because I put in a lot of energy and I'm putting so much focus into this empower, and then I go like this. You know, trading in my wrestling boots for a business suit was been a real unique place to be in you know because i'm really trying to sit back and take a big look at the whole the whole um picture you know i don't know what happened there sorry um but and i'm really excited about it but i want to take it seriously and i feel like oh and then i was like well are you gonna wrestle on it and people were asking me are you gonna wrestle on it and i was like i don't know how i can i do not know how i can present the show to the best of my abilities if i'm also then thinking about this match that i'm gonna have and making sure that I put that on for the best of my, you know what I mean? In the same night. I just think that it kind of, and it, this show, the women's, you know, empower is not just about me. It's about all the women, right? Like it's about women's wrestling for me and like what that means to me and, you know, who I think those torch bearers are going to be going into the future. And so I um, am super, super excited about that. And I'm super excited to be able to be given the keys in a space of that to, try to let my vision of what that looks like, you know, come to life. And I know that this is the first of many and, and I hope that it's amazing. I know it's going to be amazing and I hope it delivers on every level. Um, but it's a, it's a huge responsibility, you know, and I, and I'm definitely like, sort like have my team of women around me that I'm like, I lean on them to help me make the right decisions. And, you know, we got some cool people and some cool stuff get, like involved and I'm going to start rolling that out. Um, over the next coming weeks, but it's just been amazing. And it's been, I think I've quietly sat back and watched the growth of NWA um, since my husband's been there and what they've done and to be able to bring this brand back and the way they deliver the product is so unique. And it's really not, when you think about it, it's not unique. It's just the wrestling that I fell in love with. It's that that's kind of, it's what's old is new, but it's, it's like that modern day delivery to that presentation to that old school wrestling feel style and I just love it so much like I think it's so different and it's so unique and powerful and it really uh is has the ability to showcase different talents that perhaps got overlooked you know because they didn't fit the specific mold or it you know whatever the case may be and it gives everybody you know somewhat give them a unique place to really shine and show all of their strengths you know so I think what they've done with different characters that people had even forgotten about to build these like really emotional stories, those 10 pounds of gold series and all that stuff. I was like, this is so different and it's cool. And it's, you know, I want to watch this, you know, cause it makes me feel. And I think it, it, with everything and all television and everything I'm looking at it and I go, we're moving so far away from that reality television space of, Especially, I think, with anything in the last two years, that's the thing that's been the key element of the change is the authenticity of everything, of like being able to truly relate to the audience. And I think people just don't want trash TV anymore or like fake reality or any of that. They want to be emotionally connected to the stories that they're investing in on television, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a cool thing to be able to try to do, you know? And if I can do that for women's wrestling too, that would be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, as part of this whole weekend, because I go, it's a, such a huge weekend. It's honestly my first, you know, real appearance at NWA at the at the showcase as in itself. And I think, you know, I I was sitting back thinking, and I was like, you know, with everything that Billy's doing for me and to help me and giving me this platform and like really just kind of saying, this is your thing. Here you go. Uh, I'm like, I would really love my first wrestling appearance. If I'm going, you know, I was like, cause I was going back and forth on the wrestling. I'm like, not because I'm not good at it anymore, but I was just like, oh, does it mean the same? Is it the, you know? And I'm like, no, I am still good at it. And uh, I would love to lace my boots up again and actually kick some ass out there. And um, so, yeah, I just announced that I would have my first match back at NWA 73. So where I'm looking for an opponent, obviously, or Billy, and I've left that that key in Billy's hands, you know, as to far, find, like, let's find a really killer opponent. And I'm excited. I'm super excited. It's going to be who, good. Who do you think of possible opponents? Um, You know, I don't know, because I'm like, well, if we go within the NWA, there's um Kylie Ray now. 
Um, I think that obviously there is uh, Camille as the champion, but me as a businesswoman go, she's aligned with my husband on, and, and she's the champion and he's the champion. And as a businesswoman, I don't need to, I don't need to do like, I think I like Camille. She comes over the house. She comes swimming at the house, you know, like we're all friends. So when it came time to go after the championship, I would just really like to have one of those matches with like a Thunder Rosa or like with a, a Serena or someone who's really like that type of, of girl of today that people really have their eyes on and put on a hell of a match. And that's all have like a really amazing showcase. And so whoever that might be, I mean, there's Deanna, there's so many girls that are, I mean, Ring of Honor is getting ready to do that tournament, you know, that are getting showcased there. There's women that I haven't even stepped in the ring with that have really, you know, risen up in the last five years since I've been back and, and on the road and stuff because of this whole, you know, renaissance of women's wrestling so it's it's kind of cool to see there's so I, I there's so much people that i haven't even seen yet so we'll see who do you suggest do you have any suggestions i was gonna say serena because she seems like as, as serena deep as far as everybody right now she seems to be uh the top of her game more so than anybody else i've seen i mean anybody they throw her in there with reho on aew oh, good yeah. match thunder roast a good match i mean she did a good match just one match after another she's been having uh, she's on a roll yeah, I know. And I'm so happy for her. And I would have said Serena. I know I've wrestled Serena, but Ser I think everybody knows that my Serena is always my go-to because I think she's the greatest women's wrestler out there right now. Um, and I've always felt that way. I always have a you know kindred spirit with Serena because I remember her when she first moved to Louisville and OVW when she was just a kid. She moved from Virginia. So there was already like a little bond right there because we're both Virginia girls. And then I just loved her from day one. She's always had so much passion and raw talent. And just, she just, it just clicked right away the whole time, you know? And even at, uh, when I first got called up the first time, and that's when she was really starting to get her. And I just watched her grow from there to debuting on television and getting her head shaved and that whole space. And I felt like even there, she never got a chance because I felt then she was better than a lot of the girls, most of the girls there. And, and definitely almost probably better than me. I don't know. Hmm. I don't maybe, know. maybe we'll see. No, maybe we'll but see. At any rate, I really think that of Serena. I've always held her because it wasn't just about the in, like it was the details and the character in the, in the in-between stuff. She could just wrestle, you know, like, and, and I just appreciated that so much because that's what I always, I wanted to be able to go in there and go, you know, and still do all check all the girl boxes, but when it came down to bell time, like you could go with anyone. And um, yeah, yeah. And I think it's really, really cool like to just watch her journey because I think that she's been through it too, where she kind of thought, uh, maybe it's just, you know, after after the first run and then like, uh, it just seems like a struggle. And because she never got a chance to showcase her wrestling ability on television, so people didn't know. And then, you know, then to come back for like the classic and then be a trainer. And then I'm like, well, you're 30. She's like, you know, she, she was 30 and the girl, even all the girls she was training were her age and, and older or like right in that space. So, but I'm like, your head and shoulders above, you know what I mean? All right. You're already ready. Like this, like there's so much to do with, with her. And I just, for whatever reason, I think because she's so sweet, her genuine are her genuine. So I think that maybe until you see her like live and watch her work, like people don't understand that how because she doesn't feel dangerous when you talk to her as the real person serena because she's got such a good soul like she's just so nice like we'd say too nice for wrestling sometimes right that was always what lisa said about molly holly she's so nice she's too nice for wrestling you know like yep. um but just mega talented and i just look at serena in that same bracket like she's so freaking good and i'm so happy that she's finally getting a chance to really showcase you know, really showcase why she was always put in those positions to help level everybody up and take them to the next level because she was already there the whole time.